he just continues to show that um, when you throw it to him in those moments, he makes you right. He catches it. Uh, the play he made in the back of the end zone today was just really impressive. Uh, he kind of ran out of real estate and stopped and just had to kind of post up and just did a great job of walling the defender without committing pass interference and then making a strong catch. And uh, did a similar thing on a corner out in the front corner of the end zone at the end of practice. And he had a couple others through seven on sevens and other periods in previous days. So the more you do it, the more you see it, uh, you know, the more you realize that's that's a strength of his. And I guess I look back and, and regret a little bit not doing that more with him last year. And then hopefully look forward this year to giving him more opportunities to make you right when really everything in you is telling you, hey, he's really not open, but let's give him a shot, you know? I think it's a reps. I think it's a reps thing, just building up time on tasks together and doing it. You know, you when you really think about it, it was I think 13 practices last spring, and and then you have training camp, and then from there you really go back to scout team, which it's hard to build that because the scout team guys aren't really covering you; they're just kind of shadowing you. So the number of full speed practices you have to build that uh, uh, repertoire of you know understanding your players is not as much as you'd like to have, and so I think the more years together tends to develop that. Looking back at your pros and things at the last year, did you feel like you did enough, too much, too little? What was your reflection on that? The time you get two guys to go for 1,000 yards and one of them catch 100 balls, I think, we, I think we did a good job getting them the football. I think maybe the challenge at times was we did too good a job of getting them the football and uh, it made it tough to move the ball elsewhere because it was so focused on those two, and, and rightfully so. I mean, they're two of our best football players in the entire team and two of the best in the entire league. But at some point in the season, uh, defensively, I think teams started to take, try to take them away, and it, and it was you know tougher. And, and so, uh, uh, when, when we have guys healthy and have other other weapons, that's so important. And I, I think we will. I, as I look around, I see a lot of talent out there. Chad Beebe's another guy who I just think will make a major difference for our offense this year. That because of him coming up from the practice squad and him having an injury, he just, he just wasn't able to have that same impact as I think he can going forward.